Hi YouTube, welcome to Poem Outdoors. My name is Michael and today I have two dogs with me and that's going to be Esme and Simon. So I don't normally take Simon along with me because he's an older dog and he has some medical problems but today we're just going to do a camp for us, just the three of us. So I have everything set up. I have the war bonnet Superfly tarp above me and the Teton Outfitters XXL tank cot and the, the cot as well. It is a bit of an odd combination. I brought the hammock with me that matches the uh, the fly, the superfly, uh, but it started to hail. So I was like, well, we better get something set up. The cot tent was already put up for the dogs so that they can go in and out and stay out of the bugs, but I wasn't expecting the hail. So I did think it was going to rain somewhat today, but not, not hail. So might be in for some storms, maybe. That might be kind of fun. So I have lots of new gear to show you in this video, so if you'd like to stay around and watch that, you're more than welcome. I'm just noticing a lot of the spruce trees got new growth going on at the moment. Hopefully you can see that. This is just the early tips. Uh, this is a black spruce. But it's a nice snack. It's not as pungent when you take the needles and you can make like pine or spruce needle tea. It's actually quite pleasant, more like a fruit, citrusy fruit. Here we can see a lot of wild strawberries, they're kind of everywhere, they're not ready to fruit yet obviously, they're still in flower. These things are literally everywhere. Looks like a moose at some point. A scapula. I think they've been here for quite some time. Yeah, someone's had a good go at these. some white marks on this too. There's one big animal, that's, uh, that's for sure. So a few new items I've been uh, playing around with at the moment is this Helicon Tex. This is the Essentials Kit Bag. And I actually bought this for a different purpose, which it kind of works for, kind of doesn't. Um, it's very interesting. Uh, it can be used in several different ways, uh, but I'll go over some of the basic features. So it has a big pocket, almost like a canteen pocket right in the bottom. And it does take a big 32 ounce Nalgene, no problems. 
which is kind of good. Uh, it has a Molly compatible system on the back, so you can actually uh, attach it to something else and disconnect the straps, the shoulder strap. And these do kind of poke down and you can hide them out of the way so it just becomes a, a regular pouch. That's kind of how I'm probably going to use it. There is another feature as well where there is a pass through through the back of this thing. So if you do have an axe or something similar, uh, you can just put the, the handle through the back. Kind of like that too. On the front, on the sides I should say, it's two identical pockets, one with mesh as a loop for keykeeper. Same on that side, it's got a few things in there. Then on the inside, there's a pocket at the top, mesh pocket, and there's also a sliding pocket right there. Um, and then it's just a big hole with a drain hole in the bottom. Um, I kind of like it. It's good. Like I say, it's, it has padding. I was going to use this actually for my small camera equipment. That was my plan, uh, but I can't actually get it all in the way I want to make it work. So, not quite sure. I think I'll maybe use it as an extra pouch. But that is the Essentials kit bag, Helicon Tex. Uh, my other thing I've been playing around with is the Bushcraft sa Satchel. Uh, this is very interesting. Uh, I like this a lot. So it has two pockets on the outside on either end. One is uh, blind sewn. The other is a complete pass through again. So if you have um, something you have, a tool like an axe or whatever, you can actually put that through and it will hang through. Um, it has big compartment on the inside with a mesh pocket at the top and it has two side pockets as well which you can actually put canteen in like so um, it's a big old space uh, I've been using this for all my camera equipment it's my drone etc and a few for my camera bag uh, so it's actually worked out really well for that also has a front pouch so if you need stuff you need to get to really quickly it's my road mic um, this is just a battery bank uh, but I, I actually really like this I think this is going to be my my little pack I'm going to use for uh, a game this year uh, when September comes around and there's some side compression straps too just to keep everything down so really like this um, it's not heavy material I'll put the specs in the bottom but it's heavy enough like I say it's not military grade uh, but it would take a uh, many years of abuse before that would run into problems and of course this is the Foxtrot 2 uh, and I'm I like it for what it is so if I'm using it as just going for a walk right now uh, this works really well with the uh, the backpack setup that I was trying to make work um, have the backpack connect to the back I'm not sure if I've got that calculation right um, I'm struggling to get everything work and to be comfortable um, but I do have uh, this is from Vastelecker it's one of the small uh, pouches I think it's TST pouch or something like that um, really like this pouch keep some essentials in there of my um, Moria knife and a flashlight and a few other bits and pieces and then inside I've actually got all my food uh, I've got my pocket rocket stove pots pans usual stuff um, so lots of room for that so very pleased with this I'm just not sure it works as my backpack setup that I was hoping for so I might have to rethink some of that. So I'll give you a closer look at these a little bit later on.
And no, I'm not sponsored by Helicon Tax. Probably should be. I actually like their equipment. As you thirsty? Sometimes you just got to know when to quit. There's going to be a, quite a bit of weather coming through in a second. So I've just moved everything back in. And uh, hopefully it might settle down. Actually thinking of dropping one of the doors down. Yeah, that might be a good idea. got the tarp down a little bit better wasn't expecting this type of weather got the dogs in the Teton and it's thunderstorming so a little bit of excitement probably might have set the tarp up slightly differently uh, if I knew it was gonna be like this I would have set it right down to the floor Sign it's cold now. That's a good sign to warm you up. There you go. So, it was right cold to get the fire out of the way. <laughs> Would have made it in a bit of a pickle uh, right now. But it's all good. Everything's under this tarp, and uh, it's quite a big tarp. So, I think we'll be fine. It'd be nice to have some tabs on the doors, on the edges, so you can kind of button them up. Uh, I didn't really find a good way to actually overlap them easily. Not in the time that I had. I think it's actually too spread out. Uh, if I was going to pitch it that way, it would have been easier. But currently I've got a bit of a breeze that comes down the centre. I'm lined up with this tree, so it's not too bad. Uh, I need to drop that side down probably, but we'll see whether it passes. 
exciting. Yes. Okay, I'll bring you back if anything happens. So we did get a bit of a fire going, which is nice, and the storm has passed. But we did pretty good. Uh, both the dogs are in the tent at the moment. Uh, Simon's intent on wandering off, which I'm not sure where he's going, but he wouldn't last long on his own. He's way too small. And that's the thing with camping with animals, you've really got to keep an eye on them. Esme's not too bad, she doesn't go far, but Simon's a bit of a wanderer. He'll always come when he's cold, but he likes to find a quiet corner, and that's where some terrible things might happen, depending on what's uh, also in that corner. So I do like to keep him pretty close by. So we've actually had quite a fun day. Uh, we've been out for probably about five different walks uh, with the dogs. Uh, Esme's here, we've got the big cover on now. So this is my minus five wrap sleeping bag. I've also got the uh, the Wooby underneath, uh, my L.L. Bean cover, and uh, the Teton uh, thick mattress underneath. So uh, we're actually very comfortable. Um, Simon is buried just about here and uh, he's like a little oven. He got a bit cold earlier and he was shaking a little bit. So uh, he's actually quite happy now. He's one of those dogs that finds the center of anything. <laughs> like he, he just takes over the space. So he could lie at the side and be comfortable, but no, he has to be right in the middle. So it's going to be an interesting night, but I'm sure it's going to be fine. So it's been a really good day. Didn't do that much filming, unfortunately. It was really just a day for me and the dogs. I, I didn't want to do lots of bushcrafty activities and whatnot. We went for a quick ride around in the Argo, uh, but it was really about just spending time with the dogs and make sure that they had a really good day. And they chased around each other they tried to get squirrels, which they never would, uh, but they just had a great time just exploring. So it was actually uh, very good for all of us. It was good to uh, just relax. Still got the fire going, which is nice. Um, one surprising thing is that the tarp, the uh, war bonnet, Thunderfly tarp, what a good tarp. Uh, I'm actually quite surprised. Um, I'll show you the whole setup later on probably tomorrow uh, because it's getting to just gone nine o'clock and the sunset should be coming down pretty soon so i'm not going to get out of bed um, but yeah it's very stable we had some serious winds earlier um, and it did flap around a little bit but i, I managed to dial it in um, but the way i've got it set up currently um, it's kind of angled so you can probably see this part I've got the back part closed off then it kind of slants up uh, so I can get underneath the tarp it's quite low on this side um, but it's got so many options um, yeah it's probably one of the best pieces of equipment I've ever bought um, it's meant to be for a hammock but you can literally use it for anything actually works great under the Teton cot. I'd be quite tempted to uh, never use the cover again. 
on the Teton. I hate the cover. The cover's awful. This actually does the, the right job. It gives you a porch. Um, it does give you some privacy, like at the back. I don't know if you can see that, but I could be completely private in this. No one would see me even at a campground. Uh, this is the way to go. If you've got a Teton cot, uh, get yourself a tarp with doors. And uh, it actually fulfills everything that you want. Uh, get rid of the original cover. Uh, th this is definitely the way to go. So, anyway, we're going to settle down. I've got some more podcasts to listen to. But I'm going to be out for the count pretty soon. We, uh, like I said, we covered quite a few miles today. Well, we're all ready for bed. Uh, Esme's just behind me right here. I'm going to cover up short quite shortly um, Simon is way down in the bottom of the uh, the tent cot and he's under quite a few blankets and he's quite comfortable I can feel how warm he is so he's he's quite happy morning we had a very pleasant night indeed very comfortable actually quite warm no problems at all woke up about six o'clock this morning and then we lied in for about an hour um, let the dogs out to run for a while and then they're back tucked up inside um, we're gonna have some breakfast but yeah it's very nice very uneventful had a bit of rain during the night but the tarp did a, a really good job uh, so impressed with this tarp it's gonna be part of my essential kit from now on uh, it's small enough to take with me wherever I need. And the squirrels are just going crazy this morning. So, time to get some breakfast and start packing up. You all ready for home, guys? Well that brings us to the end of another video. It's time for Esme and Simon and me to go home now. So until next time, take care. And as always, thank you very much for watching. If you like my videos, leave me a comment, maybe a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe.